Okay, it's Python on Hardware Time, and we got some stuff going on. The newsletter is gigantic this week. Thank you so much, Anne, for putting in all the work that makes this, I think, the best and most popular Python yeah. on Hardware newsletter. Yes. Um, so a couple bits of news, and then we'll go into what I think is the big story this week, MicroPython support for the Raspberry Pi Pico W. It is progressing. If you want to play around with it, you can check it out. There is Bluetooth support for the Pico W and MicroPython. There's a pull request in progress, and um, there's experimental builds already Ooh. that you can play around with. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you'll want to use uh, our Blue Fruit Connect if you want to like actually use it. That's one. Yeah. Of which I mean, we have a great app that implements uh, and uses the Nordic. Um, sorry, the Nordic. UART standard because BLE doesn't have a profile for UART. So like Nordic kind of made one up um, and it's sort of standardized because, you know, Nordic has so many chips. So um, you can use our app. It's a great free ad free little chat app that you can communicate back and forth. And we just updated it on Android. Um, CircuitPython 804 release, couple uh, updates, uh, fixes and enhancements, the printing the, of soft reboot message <laughs> that works now, and then some board specific changes. Um, still have some new issues, but please check it out. Um, we're going to be doing more updates, and then we'll be releasing, of course, probably like final, final um, as we... I think we're waiting on some GIF.io fixes, but yes, we're getting close. Getting close. But, you know, it's whenever we do a big release like 8, there's always going to be a ton of churn right afterwards because we get so many bug reports. And we're doing a lot of work with IMX as well. Um, and then, of course, uh, unending stories. I think um, some of the neat things in the newsletter is what going on in the community, what other uh, folks are sharing their stuff. Uh, this is a PyDog. This is a Raspberry Pi 4 running Python, and it's a dog. You can make your own little oh, dog. Cute. Make robot dog friend, not robot dog enemy. Um, this is neat. Uh, Charlotte has uh, an interview with Embedded FM. Uh, if you've seen her work, it's really great. And she uses a lot of Adafruit stuff, a lot of CircuitPython too. And then um, just go through and look at all of the projects and more. It is never ending. There is something to do with Python on hardware everywhere. If you have anything that you've ever wanted to do, stop here first and just get some ideas from physical computing, interfacing with things that maybe were never meant to be interfaced with, to making your own games, to a menagerie of hardware. It's happening. And a lot of it's because of the community of folks out there producing libraries. And that's what our big news this week is. We're up to 100 libraries in the community bundle. So that means, what? Right. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Than. Library than. Yeah. Ah. Um, so. Oh, they're Libras. So okay. uh, why don't you talk about what are the community bundles? Yes. What's a community bundle? There's 100 of them now. And then maybe you can give an example of something that's worked out really well in the community yeah. bundle. Um, so we have the main Adafruit bundle, and that's the bundle that Adafruit employees and engineers and, and people that Adafruit pays uh, design libraries, design, sorry, write libraries for mostly our designs. Um, and it allows us to support our hardware and we kind of maintain them and keep them up to date and close PRs and issues and stuff. And then um, there's people who write libraries for CircuitPython that, again, will work through Blinka with any Linux computer or even desktop computer through a USB to GPIO converter. Um, so it's like you write the library once and then it runs everywhere that CircuitPython or micro, uh, sorry, CircuitPython or Py C Python will run. Um, and uh, so we have like a couple hundred libraries. I don't remember how many, it's like two or 300 libraries, but then um, you know, I saw recently C Grover put in some analog to digital converters and like some PWM generators and also, um, Foamy guy and some other community members have been working on a lot of Adafruit, um, display IO, which is our display, like Sprite and layered base, uh, graphics engine for circuit Python, you know, adding more like, um, built in devices like gauges and, um, uh, gauges and um scroll bars not scroll bars but uh, slider bars uh buttons like other user interface elements um by like building up um the frame buffer image and like they just need to have their own little object and so they're kind of spitting out a lot of those graphical elements and so there's there's quite a few in the community bundle um anyone's welcome to do a pr to add um your library and there's a, there's some benefit to it you're like why would i do that um first off we will automatically uh, every time there's a new CircuitPython release, we will 
um, and every night that there's a new um, release within your GitHub repo or GitLab repo, if you've pushed a version update, like if you've tagged a new version, we will um, grab that code, we'll stuff it into the zip file that you can you know download every night that gives you all the libraries, all the examples. And then we'll also um, perform the um, the compression, which I can't remember the name of, MP, the MPY compress. Uh, we'll run that on your code so people don't have to like do that on their own. They get like the .mpy file. And um, I believe also if you're using uh, you are, um, uh, CPY pip, sorry, it's, it's not micro pip, which is the micro Python version. It's circup, uh, which is like an automatic um, updater for your circuit Python boards. Make sure you have the latest libraries. People will be able to get the bundle and that'll automatically, you know, like instead of going to every repo, they go to the bundle, it has everything and then they can update all their libraries at once. And it has all the um, dependency graph as well. So it's yeah. kind of just like our little way of, of making it easy for boards to automatically update themselves, um, code to know what dependencies they have. And like we make all the, the bundle very nice and pretty. So whenever I start a new project, I'll usually download the latest bundle so I can get all the latest libraries. Cause I'll be yeah. like, oh, I want this, 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 this. And you you pick and choose like a little yeah, bit. Yeah, go to box. .org. You can always get the latest uh, build for your board. And then you can also get the latest libraries that keep you up to date. And yeah. there's a lot of um, UI element, dashboard widgets, all these things for the, the and lots of sensors and like you know we don't have every sensor and device like people are like I want to add this OLED display and I'm like I don't have that OLED display but yeah. if you want to add a driver and you put it in the community bundle and um yeah it just it kind of just kind of gets kept up to date so it, it doesn't have as much link wrong yeah. I think this is a big deal I think that the the next chapter of microcontrollers is this where we've all spent a lot of time having the pile code that's kind of over you can now just you know kind of do real-time stuff and then like oh like how do i update my board this is impossible it's i can never find the the latest firmware uh yeah that we made that easy now it's getting all the the drivers the and, and the community bundle is also like um automated yeah you know? so it's like we you know there's a human that does the final pr approval but a lot of it is pre-checked for you and and to make sure that everything is named correctly and um within not our like uh coding standards but just we we look for like really obvious mistakes. We're like, hey, you like made um you have like serious a serious typo that might mean that your code has bugs. We we do have automated linters that check that for you. Yeah. So hopefully this will continue to do what it's been doing, which is getting you making things, sharing things as fast as possible. Of course, you can dig in really deep and uh, do a lot of other stuff. But this is when you want to do that project and you just want it to work and prototype fast. Great for educators. Um, you're spending more time doing instead of managing. Um, and one more thing, we have a we have a guide in the learning system on how to write libraries right. and submit to the community bundle. So if you're like, I want to do this, check out the learning system and just type in how to write circuit Python library. It's one of the one of the guides that comes up. We deliver this newsletter every single week to your inbox. It's a separate site for daily.com. And uh, we don't harvest your emails, we don't track, we don't spam, we don't do anything like that. So um over there if you want or you can just read on the web there's rss feed for it too all that stuff it doesn't matter we want 